Hello boys and girls, um, Ms. Medeiros here with another lesson. Today we're going to go over sequencing through origami. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an origami fish using while well, learning sequence words and phrases. Now, what does sequencing mean? So se sequencing is when we talk write or draw about the order of events in which something that has happened. Usually we sequence events in the order, in the exact order that it happened. In order to do this, we use specific words and phrases called time order words or sequence words. All right, so here are some examples of time order words. So we're gonna look at the box in the green for the words first. Now we want to try to use sequence words or time order words other than first, next, then, and last. We use those all the time, so we want to shake it up a little bit. So you're going to see in the following slides me using examples other than first. Here's some examples of words to use instead of next, all the words we can use instead of that. Um, and then if we go to the top box on the right, here's some words we can use for the sequence word last. Okay, so before we start, the materials you're gonna need, you're going to need a piece of paper, okay? And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. It's okay if you don't have a pair of scissors, you can rip the extra piece of paper off as well. You're going to start the very first step next to where I have the blue arrow you're going to go to the top left corner and we're going to fold it all the way down to the bottom right. Okay, and then you're going to have an extra strip of paper on the bottom that we're going to cut off or rip off. On the sides, you're going to see the blue arrows or my finger pointing um, where you need to start the fold and where you need to end the fold. Now fold is when you fold a piece of paper in half, okay, or you can fold it diagonally as well. And then the crease, you're going to hear me use the word crease and fold a lot, is the line that we see after we fold the paper, okay? All right, so I'm going to use my sequence phrase starting with. So starting with the fold on the top left, I folded it down to the bottom right where this blue arrow and my finger is. So you're going to fold the top left corner to the bottom right corner until it makes an even triangle. Okay. There should be a strip of paper left off on the bottom. You can rip it off if you don't have scissors like I previously mentioned. Okay, and what this does it, is it ensures that we're going to have an even square which we need to make origami shapes. If we don't have an exact square, you're going to see the folds have a lot of leftover paper on them and it won't turn into the shape that we want. Now we're going to commence with the cutting. I use the sequence word comments that might be a new word for you you can add that to your verbal dictionary once you cut the paper off it should look just about that size right here okay and then you'll have a nice even square all right so next you're going to take okay the bottom right corner where the blue arrow is and you're going to fold it to the top left corner. Okay, you see the crease over here from the previous fold. So now we're going to fold this one up. Once you fold it up, it should look just like I have in the picture. Okay, just like this. I'm making one right now too. Okay, so right after that, we're going to we're going to unfold the top left corner back to the bottom right. I guess I didn't put a blue arrow there. 
Um, and then it should look like this when you unfold it. Okay, you should have one crease down the middle. Okay, so as soon as our next sequence phrase over here, as soon as we unfold, it should look like this. We're going to fold from the opposite side. So we're going to go to the bottom left, okay, and fold it to the top right. And this will make a crease on the opposite side. When you're folding your paper, make sure you fold it super tight. Okay, this will make us have the perfect shape that doesn't puff back up again. And this slide is just showing you where to end your fold. That's what it should look like as your next step. After that, you unfold the top right corner back down to the bottom left. It should look like this. You should have four triangles, okay? And as you see on the green over here, where my blue arrow is, this is where we unfold. So you start from the top and should end right over there. And you should have one, two, three, four triangle shapes. Right after that, our next sequence phrase, we're going to take the bottom left corner, okay, where my blue arrow is, and we're going to fold it to the bottom right, and it's going to look like this, okay, bottom left corner, and fold it to the bottom right, okay, make a nice Tight fold, make sure your corners match up. And it should look like this once you're done folding it. And in case you didn't see it on my orange paper in the previous slide, this is where you fold the bottom left, you fold it to the bottom right. This is what it should look like once you're done folding. That's just a still for you. Okay. Then we unfold it. So once we unfold it, okay, it should look like this. We have two more triangles now on the top and on the bottom, same as in the green paper. Okay. All in all, we should have six little sections. So we unfolded it and we unfolded it from the bottom right corner back to the bottom left. Just so like that. Following that, okay, we have to flip the paper over to the opposite side. Okay. You're going your paper is going to be pointing in. Okay? We want to flip it over so that the point in the middle okay is facing up or out. We don't want it facing in. This side it's facing in. On the opposite it's opposite side it's facing out. This is important. Okay? So if you can't see on my orange paper, the yellow arrow over here is pointing to the uh, the point in, on the green paper. It should be facing up. So if you were to lay your paper down, the point would be facing up. As soon as we flip our paper over, you're going to see a little video. I'm going to play a little video for you on what it looks like is this part gets a little tricky okay so as soon as we flip the paper over you're going to squeeze the creases in the middle okay as you see in this video 
Okay, and it should end up looking like this. Okay, we squeeze in the side creases. Okay, so if you see these creases right here, we're going to squeeze them in. Okay, once you squeeze them in, it's going to look like this. Okay, and after we tuck the creases in, you're going to tightly fold the folds for the creases. And that's what will make the paper stay a little flat so we don't have a little puffer fish. Okay. Right after we tuck the creases in and folded it tightly, we are going to turn it sideways after we fold it. Doesn't matter which side you have it on, just depends what side you want the fish to face. Okay, starting to look like a fish already. So we turn it sideways after we folded it, the creases in, and then you're going to press the folds in tightly. Okay, now we fold them down even tighter. All right, so here, we're going to start on the top. We're going to take the top corner of the side triangle, okay, or the top fold of the side triangle. And we're going to fold it down. So you see my blue arrow over here, okay? We're going to take this top fold. We're gonna fold it to the middle, as you see me highlighting. We're gonna fold it to just about there, okay? We want to fold it to where this, so this is going to be our fin. So we want to fold it so that it's sticking out. Okay, so once you do that, it should look like this. Fold it down to the middle. And then over here, that's what it should look like. Next, we're going to take the bottom corner of the triangle. Get to the bottom corner. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the bottom corner and fold it to the top. So it should look something like that. Okay. On the slide, so where my finger is, you take this bottom portion and you're going to fold it all the way over onto the top. Okay. <laughs> okay, and that just shows you what it should look like after you folded both of the flaps. Okay, next what we do Or finally, in conclusion, and last of all, we have different options to use as our final sequence words. Okay, instead of just using last all the time, we can pick some of these. Okay, so finally, in conclusion, or last of all, we're going to flip the fish back over. Okay, so when we flip the fish back over, you want the fins where we need the fins to be on the back side. So these are the fins, the side where the fins are. We're just going to flip it over. Okay. And see our little 
the sheet, the tail. So the tail. Okay. And the very last step, you can take a marker, a pen, a pencil, a crayon, colored pencil, whatever you have to draw, and you can make your fish however you want it. So this is how I made some of mine. Green one that I used in this little audio, um, this little video. So I'm just gonna make a quick face. So I just made a, a cute little smiley face on it okay and that's how the original one turned out that I made for the video and that's the funnest part is you can draw um, your fish however you want it well I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you are going home and making origami there's tons of videos out there that show you how to make origami it's a fun way to pass the time um, and you got to learn some new sequence words along the way I miss all of you guys, and I'll see you at my next video.